Hey everyone, John here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about your dirty laundry. Should you be throwing it in the dryer to de-wrinkle it, to fluff it up a little bit and get the wrinkles to fall out? So we're not actually gonna be talking about dirty laundry. We're gonna be actually be talking about your clean laundry. Maybe it's wrinkled, maybe it's set in a pile or something like that. Maybe you waited too long to hang it up. Uh, either way, it's wrinkled. Should you throw it back in the dryer to fluff it up, or should you take the time to iron it on a steam iron with an ironing board should you take the time to do that and how many garments are you dealing with so today we're going to just be comparing one garment obviously if you're doing multiple garments it's going to be a lot quicker to do this in a dryer and just defluff it because you know you can fit 10 15 garments in this thing throw it in there put it on for 20 minutes 10 15 minutes whatever you're comfortable with and they'll come out relatively wrinkle free and looking okay but I want to compare with you guys the results and how long it takes. If say it's 20 minutes to time your head out, you go to pull out your favorite shirt, you realize that it's, well, it's wrinkly and you want to wear it out, but not what you do. Do you throw it in the dryer for that single shirt or do you iron it? What's the better use of time and what gives a better result? So that's what we're going to compare today. Let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the shirt I'm going to be using today. As you can see, I've got it wadded up and now it is, well, it's nice and wrinkly and I'm going to be throwing this thing in the dryer to let it fluff and de-wrinkle, get that all out of there. You know, another advantage of using the dryer is that it'll also refresh your clothes. So you can throw your shirt in here, you throw your underwear in here, it'll come out warm and good as new. All right, here we go. Just throw her in. Nice wrinkly mess. Throw her in there. We'll put her in for 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. We'll take it out. It's actually been a little closer to 25, so it's had plenty of time to work its magic. Let's pull it out and take a look at it, try it on. All right, so here's what it looks like straight out of the dryer. You can see that it doesn't have a whole lot of body. It's fairly soft, as you can see, but the wrinkles are gone. We've got a little bit of puckering. Basically what's happened is the wrinkles have gotten really small. From all of the tumbling, it's just made, put so many thousands of wrinkles in the thing that they've all canceled each other out. And now this, it's just sort of a, it's, it's got a little bit of puckering to the collar. If I move it around this way, you can kind of see, but really what you're doing is you're taking these big wrinkles and turning them into small wrinkles so they don't stand out as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shirt off now. I'm going to stand back actually, let you guys get one more look at this thing. Let you see, how it turned out you can see it looks fine um, you know if you're not going out dressed up anywhere it's probably fine but I'll let you guys see I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna iron it give you guys a time lapse of that and let you see how it looks once it's been ironed okay so here's the shirt that I just took out of the dryer I'll let you guys see what it looks like now that I've watered it up and tried to wrinkle it again now one thing that you'll notice is it's not as wrinkly as when I put it in the dryer even though I've used the same method to wrinkle it I watered it up in a ball and that's because when you dry, dry a garment, it sort of breaks all the bonds in it and it softens the fabric and it just doesn't hold a wrinkle, but it also doesn't have any body. This thing's really a limp rag, but at the same time, it doesn't wrinkle very badly. But you can see what we're looking at right now. It still has some wrinkles in it. I've managed to put a few in there. We'll go ahead. I'm gonna drape this over the end of the ironing board and we'll start ironing. I'm starting from a cold iron. I'm gonna heat it up and then we'll start the timer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the iron on let it be heating up and while i'm waiting on it to heat up i'm going to take my shirt i'm going to position it over the ironing board just like so i'm just going to be straightening this out and we're going to wait for this to warm up a little bit this is from a cold iron so it'll take about a minute and i'm going to once i start ironing i'm going to time lapse this thing just so uh, I'm not taking up too much of your time with this. You can kind of see the whole process of ironing. If you want to see the full process of ironing a shirt, I have a video dedicated just to this. I'll put a link in the description below to see that. It's a little lower production quality than this video, but the uh, information in it is very good quality.
All right. Now the shirt is officially done. Every piece of this shirt has been ironed. Let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, and here is the shirt after being ironed. Now, I don't know if you can see a difference or not. I can see a difference with it, just the way the pocket lays on it. Everything lays nice and flat. There are still obviously going to be wrinkles as you move around in the shirt, but the shirt appears to have a little more structure to it. Now, of course, I didn't use any starch or anything like this on it. If you use starch, your shirt will have a lot more structure, starch or fabric sizing, depending on what the makeup of your shirt is. But you use either of those on there, you're going to have a lot of body to your shirt and it's going to look even better. But that being said, they take a little more time because they do wet your shirt a little bit and you have to dry the shirt uh, with the iron. So it does take a little more time. But besides that, you can see here, this is just using steam. The shirt looks just a little bit better. There's none of that puckering or anything like that along the collar. It's a nice, smooth finish. Now, if you use something like spray starch, you can actually take it to the point that it gives you what we call a, or what is called a paper finish. And that is just a very smooth, you run your hands across it and it feels like paper. And it's a very nice finish to have on a garment if it's, if you're going to a formal event or anything like that. But besides that, you know, you can kind of see what the differences are. Let me back the focus out a little bit here so you guys can kind of see what it looks like again. So yeah, that's sort of your comparison. Um, you know, time it took from a cold iron, it took five minutes versus 25 minutes in the dryer for a single garment. So by that alone, if you don't have anything else to be doing, or if 25 minutes is too long for you, this is a really quick way to get your shirt looking sharp, and you can have those nice creases in the sleeves and all that, you'll have a nice looking shirt. But uh, you know, like I said, if you've got more garments, dryer is a much more efficient way to do it, but if you're in a rush and it's only one garment, Iron does a really good job if you're proficient with it and it'll give you a great looking shirt. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.